Field in the Nationals Park in D.C. Uncle the Phillies Baseball, UPN 57, presents the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. Well, the Phillies made some lineup changes here. They made some roster moves. First, the Phillies um, release Andres Blanco, put him on waivers. And the Phillies have brought up Andre, have brought up Michael Franco, Franco to the big club. So the Phillies making some moves here. And this was the first two games. Of the series. Aaron Harang will get to start today. Here's the lineup for the Phillies. Now, Cliff Lee. So it should be Aaron Harang. You take a look. Cliff Lee started in yesterday's game against Jordan Zimmerman. So, Cliff Lee is in the lineup, and I don't think we've had a starting pitcher start two games in a series two consecutive games. We haven't seen that. But here is Ben Revere. He enters a game on a 13 game hitting streak. One ball and no strikes. Revere got the Phillies leadoff hit in yesterday afternoon's game. First pitch, 135. John extended his hitting streak to 14 games. Two balls and no strikes. Phillies have adjusted their lineup. As you saw in the opening, open brain and Jordan into the cleanup spot. Howard is in the dugout. He's replaced by Darren Ruff at first base. Howard struggling, so he's giving him some time off to adjust with there. Oh, what a stop! By the second baseman, and the bear is thrown out. Kevin Francis makes a nice stop, taking a hit away from Ben Revere. One down here in the top of the first. And Lister loves, likes that. And it will bring up Salvador Perez. He is batting second in this afternoon's game. One ball and no strikes. Perez batting at 232. Nope. Two balls and no strikes. Got that over. Nice breaking ball by Fister. Three balls. Hi, right, three balls on one strike. Adrian Beltre waits on deck. Salvador Perez. So we'll break up Adrian Beltre. Batting third, third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Beltre batting at 276. Ball and no strikes. Beltre stuck at 399. He's been stuck there for a while. In fact, the Phillies are last in the league in home runs. They haven't hit a lot of home runs. Late swing by Beltre. One and one. 
swung at that one. When the ball reached the glove, he started swinging. Ball and two strikes. And a lot of teams are finding a way to pitch around these Phillies hitters. And that's why they're not hitting the ball like they want to because they're just, they're not going to give them pitches to hit. Balls and two strikes. Beltre skies it in the air to deep right center field. The Nard Span makes the catch. Two outs here in the first. And I'll bring up Brandon Jordan. Batting at 297. Come on. Went, that's a strike. Oh. One ball and one strike. Thing is inside, not up in the strike zone. It's frustrating the Phillies hitters. They've been frustrated because they haven't gotten a whole lot to hit. That was down in for a strike. It's two balls and two strikes. The Phillies only have four hits in yesterday's game. Had a chance to tie it in the top of the ninth. On a Frank Hoare fell bunt squeeze. Here's a ground ball to the first baseman. Zimmerman and that will retire the Phillies here in the first. We go to the bottom of the first. Phillies not the Nationals coming to bat. Here is the lineup. Span, Franzen, Wilfred, Don, Ramos, Zimmerman, Desmond, Harper, and Doug Fister, the pitcher. And Cole Hamels. Excuse me, Cliff Lee will get his second straight start. And I don't think this has happened. In years. And in years. And oh wow. Cliff Lee getting his second straight start. Here's the Nard Span. One ball and no strikes. We don't know why Cliff Lee is on the mound for this game. There's a ground ball to Utley, throws over the rough with the out. But it is a milestone. Cliff Lee, his second consecutive start in consecutive days. Gets the out. Here's Kevin Franson batting at 271. Oh. And ball and no strikes. Tapped over to Lee. Fires over to Ruff for the second out. Right They'll bring up Jason Worth. Got that in for a strike. Jason Worth, a 289 hitter. Pass 
Yes, knee and in the center field. A carbon copy of yesterday's game worth hitting that passed off the mound and it bounced in the center field. And there's Anthony Rendon. Rendon batting at 280. One strike. Up high, one ball and one strike. D. Cliff Lee. I mean, they, they might have to watch his innings pitch. Worf's gonna go. Called strike. Worf steals second. So Worf at second base with two outs. Worf got a nice jump on that one. Down the right field side. One ball and two strikes. Out again. Another foul. Two balls and two strikes. Full count. Wilson Ramos coming up next. If Rendon could get on base. That is, oh, what a catch by, guy by Franco. Firing over in the rough for the out. And that'll retire the Nationals here in the first inning. Nice diving stop by Franco in his first major league game. I've been Anthony Rendon of a hit. Here's Dominic Brown batting at 231. He leaves the Phillies with eight home runs. The left fielder, number nine, Dominic Brown. One strike to Brown. Brown fouls it 0 2. Another foul. Brown hasn't been in the starting lineup for a while. He's been on the bench, Xavier Paul. Xavier Paul has took his spot the last couple games. So he is back in the lineup for the Phillies here today. So they're trying out this new lineup to see if they can get anything going. Side two and two. Will count the Brown. Darren Ruff waits on deck. Another foul. Keeps fouling them off here. Three balls and little tapper. This is going to be a tough play, and Brown is going to beat it out. So an infield single by Dominic Brown. He kept on beating the ball foul and beating it foul, and Brown gets on first. 
The Phillies' first hit of the game is Darren Ruff. He's batting at 371. He does have 11 RBIs. Taking place of Ryan Howard today. We talked to Sandberg. He said that Darren Ruff will be a part of the regular lineup. One ball and no strikes. Howard's batting average has dropped to 148. Ruff sends this one in the center field. Spine in front of the warning track. Puts it away. A one down in the second. Well, upcoming broadcast of Phillies baseball, including tomorrow afternoon's game. On Video Game Network, a radio TV simulcast. And the second game, also on the Video Game Network. Here's Chase Utley. Utley takes a strike, no balls and one strike. It's a foul, 0-2. Oh Side. One, and two. one ball and two strikes. <laughs> Off the of Fister. They'll fire over to Zimmerman for the out. Brown moves up to second base. Now bring up Michael Frankel. Frankel's first major league at bat here. He was called up after the Phillies cut ties for Andres Blanco. One ball and no strikes. Frankel's position was third base and he worked him over at second and you see his paid dividends especially that last play to end the bottom of the first balls foul one ball and one strike Franco to the third baseman and that will retire the Phillies here in the second at least one and we go to the bottom of the second no score Here's Wilson Ramos batting at 285. In his last five games, he is two for 17. One strike. Oh, and two. Beats a foul, no balls and two strikes. That is a fair ball down the third base side. And Ramos will be at first. something on his left now side of the groin and Jerome Williams will Number come in he was trying to set a major league record he did pitch an inning in a third but Jerome Williams will be the pitcher the Phillies already lost Cole Hamels so you don't want to lose Cliff Lee as well and I know that the Phillies are thin with the starting pitching, but you got to be smart about that, and that might not have been a wise decision to put Lee out in consecutive days. There's one ball and one strike.
That is line in the right field, caught by Brandon Jordan. Here's Ian Desmond. Desmond batting at 259. Strike to Desmond. So Jerome Williams is going to be a long relief for Williams here today. Sky in the shallow, shallow rights in the field behind second base. Utley puts it away. Here's Bryce Harper batting at 208. Versus left-handers, Ben at 087. Versus right-handers, 237 with seven home runs. So he has struggled with left-handers. But um, Cliff Lee has been taken out of the game. One ball and no strikes. Side two and one. <laughs> to Utley, fires over the rough with the out. And that'll retire the Nationals here in the second. Go to the third, no score. Jerome Williams will that here in the top of the third he's replacing Cliff Lee and that is low one ball and no strikes one and one Vista has thrown 41 pitches here in the third inning Jerome Williams fouls it, one and two. Inside. So, the lineup one through nine, the Phillies mustered a hit and mustered a walk. To the credit of Fister. The lineup is going to take some getting used to. And Jerome Williams pops it up on the Zimmerman, and he will make the play, and that is one out here in the third. And he'll bring up Ben Revere. He grounded out his first time up. And a nice play by Flynn. Oh, what a bunt by Revere. No play. Let's see how they score it. And he'll bring up Salvador Perez. Nice bump by Ben Rivera. Third baseman tried to barehand it. And there was no play as Rendon tried to barehand it. Could not pick it up. They will score the hit. And Ben Rivera's hitting streak is extended to 14 games. Here's Salvador Perez. Perez takes the ball. Beltre waits on deck. Rivera has eight stolen bases this season. Ball, that's in. Inside, 2-0. Oh. Hit foul. The ball is a one strike. Another foul, even up the count at two. Three balls, two strikes. Bell Trey waits on deck. Perez trying to draw a walk here or get on base.
Perez in the right field. They drop for a base hit. They might have a play a second. No, they don't. That ball hung in the air until it dropped on the ground. And Jason Worth had a play at second, but with Rivera's speed, could not make a play. And I'll bring up Adrian Beltre. Phillies with two on and one out. Chance for them to make some noise here in the third inning. Beltre flying out in the first. One strike to Rivera. Oh, excuse me, to Beltre. Balls on one strike. Right now, you don't have anywhere to put Beltre. You can put him at first, but then you got Jordan coming up. Very dangerous. Three balls on one strike, and yeah, pitching around Beltre here. You got Jordan waiting on deck. Really doesn't get any easier. Ball four, they're loaded for Jordan. Now batting, right fielder, Brandon Jordan. And that's why the Phillies, they changed the line the way they did. Because you got Jordan up there, a cleanup hitter. They put him in the cleanup spot in place of Howard. See what Jordan can do here with the bases loaded and one out. And it's foul, no balls and one strike. Ooh, he went 0 oh and 2. Phillies have had their trouble scoring runs here early on. Jordan passed Lister and in the center field a base hit. Two runs were going to score and the Phillies with a two to nothing lead here in the first in, in the third inning on a two run single by Brandon Jordan. And it'll bring up Dominic Brown. So the Phillies knocked him in. Brandon Jordan, two RBIs on that hit. And the Phillies lead it two to nothing. And Jordan Brown takes a strike. No balls and one strike. Fouls it. All bounces up there, but this there has thrown 63 pitches here. On a center fail, caught by Spine, and Reynolds have to hold. Ball was in a shallow center field, and Spine had to run and catch it. He'll bring up Darren Ruff, slide out, and his last step back. And Ruff fouls it.
0-2. Phillies are just swinging. You've seen in the last couple games, they're swinging at pitches way out of the strike zone. And that has to be a concern for Ryan Sandberg. Rough strikes out. That'll end the top of the third. The Phillies and Brandon Jordan. A two-run single. Puts the Phillies up two to nothing. Here's pitcher Doug Fister. He'll lead off the third inning. Jerome Williams in his second inning of work here. They'll try to get as many innings as they can get out of him. And Fister is into the right field and one out on one pitch. On down, I'll bring up the Nard spine. You will hear a radio simulcast in the top of the fourth, and Matt Baskerson will have it in the fifth and sixth inning. One ball and no strikes to span. Back through the middle, a base hit. Span is a one out base runner. Up next for the Nationals, second baseman, Kevin Franson. Now bring up Kevin Franson. He's 0 for 1. Ball and no strikes. Back through the middle. Nice play by Franco. This ends the bottom of the third. Well, Jerome Williams gives up a hit, but gets out of it real quickly. To the fourth. Two not to Philly. Phillies lead it two to nothing. Chase Utley leads off the top of the fourth. Doug Fister has thrown 67 pitches here. And he begins the top of the fourth. The pitch to Utley bounced up there. One ball and no strikes. One ball and no strikes to Utley. Here's the 1 0 -oh pitch. Bounced up there, past Pfister, on to the shortstop, fires over the first for the out. One out here in the fourth. And a nice play by Ian Desmond. Ball bounced over Pfister's head. Desmond ran up to it, made a good play. And it'll bring up Mikel Franco. Franco's 0 for 1 in his first major league at bat. This is his second major league at bat. Here's the pitch to Franco, bounce down low, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1 0 -oh pitch. Outside, 2 0. -oh. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul. Two balls and one strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a pop up. Ramos behind the fence. Bound ground makes the catch. Two down here in the top of the fourth. It'll bring up Jerome Williams, who popped up in the third inning. Here's the pitch to Williams. Swing and a ground ball. Little tough play. Picked up by Fister. And he'll throw over the first for the out. Williams doesn't run that hard. Those are retired here in the fourth. They go in order. Two nothing Phillies. Jason Webb leads off for the Nationals here in the fourth. He's one for one. Williams into this wind up and the pitch. And for a strike, no balls in one strike.
And the 0 1. Swing and a foul. No balls and two strikes. The 0 2 on the way. Another foul. The two strike pitch. Swing and a face hit to right field. And Jason Worth leads off with a hit here in the bottom of the fourth. Anthony Rendon go back next for the Nationals he is 0 for 1 Phillies have some bullpen activity and David Buchanan Williams from the stretch now and the pitch swing and a ground ball to third might be a double play on the second for one back to first a double play Two outs here in the fourth. Nice play by Beltre to turn the double play. Wilson, to bring up Wilson Ramos. Here's a pitch to Ramos. Outside for a ball, one ball and no strike. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Inside, two balls and no strikes. Now the 2-0. Low it inside, three and nothing. Williams well, trying to get out of this inning here. The 3 0 pitch in for the strike. It's 3 and 1 now. Philly's going to have to rely a lot on their bullpen for the rest of this game. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Swing and a foul. Now the count is full. Williams ready. And the 3 2 pitch. Swing and a pop up. Around first base. And Darren Ruff will put it away, and that will end the inning. Nationals go in order. We go to the fifth. Two nothing Phillies. Now the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ready now on one and one. That's hard hit back up the middle. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. Well, this is just a nice play right here, ranging up the middle. You can see that he doesn't try to rush things here. He just gathers it, steadies himself just for a brief second to square himself up, and then makes a good throw on target to get his man. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Here it comes. And this ball is lined into right field, and he's got himself his second hit of the afternoon. Yeah, one out base runner for him right here, and that's something they hadn't had for a little while, as that's going to break a streak of six in a row that he had retired prior to this base hit. Adrian Beltre will stand in, base on balls his last time. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. First pitch coming. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. He's ready. Now the pitch. There he goes. A ball hit hard to the left side. 
And Beltran's got himself a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. Boy, and here you can't get angry at a hitter for hitting the ball too hard. But I think because this got to the outfield grass in such a hurry, that runner from first had to put on the brakes or the hit and run could have backfired at third base. Into the box, Brandon Jordan. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit, you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. Now the 1-0 pitch. Hard hit to third. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More coming up from Nationals Park in just a moment. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One one on the way. Now a ball lined towards center field, and Zimmerman has a base hit. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. David Buchanan is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Ian Desmond will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. One zero pitch now. One zero pitch is a slider swung on and missed one and one. Now the 1-1. One, one. A close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's 2-1. and one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Got here. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. The second for one on the first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Oh, it's just so nice to be able to bring in a reliever that can get you a ground ball. Sure enough, first batter he faces. He gets him to hit the ball on the ground, and it turns into a very important double play. Bryce Harper will stand in now with two away, and it's back to the drawing board here following the double play. Yeah, and that was the third of the game so far. And it's going to be really hard to win when you're just giving away outs like that. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. That's a two-seam fastball right there. It looks to the hitter like it's going to be inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. 
Now here's the pitch. Hit hard but fouled off to the left and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. The pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball and he sets him down for out number three. Nationals go quietly. They trail it here two to nothing. Dominic Brown will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia Six. The left fielder, number nine, Dominic Brown. First pitch to him. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. You get a look there at his pitch breakdown so far. Well, that sinker of his is a great weapon to have, and he picked the right spot to use it there. Darren Ruff will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and another chance at third. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Two more ground outs, and that's the product of throwing that sinker. Just about every time you swing at it, you're either going to hit the top of it or miss it altogether. And if you do hit it, you're going to be killing all the worms out there in front of home plate. Chase Utley will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. And that's in there for strike one. And that pitch count is 88 now. But to me, he looks good to go. Yeah! Now the pitch. Good. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And now a pitch on the way. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's 1-2. and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Now the pitch. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Phillies lead it two to nothing. And the call's been made for a pinch hitter now as Nate McClough has grabbed a bat and moved into the on-deck circle. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. The 1 0 home. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2 and 0. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Here comes the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Here it comes, 
And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Yeah, nothing on the scoreboard yet, so maybe this can be a start as he's on base to lead off the inning. Denard Spann will stand in now following the leadoff walk, and might we see a bunt attempt here in the two-run ball game? Every extra run helps. It's a possibility, but I think they'll probably let him take his chance of swinging away. First pitch coming. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Just because he's thrown five straight balls doesn't make this an automatic take especially if for a guy in this part of the lineup. Here's the 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. No runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Here comes the 1-1. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Two one pitch on its way to span. Goes the other way and he got a lot of it out to deep left. And Brown will look this one in for route number one. Well, you know he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. Justin DeFreitas will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Kevin Franzen will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. First pitch on the way. And they pitch oh. out here, but nothing's going on. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a high chopper. On to first, and there were two down. Yeah, you, you can't even think of a double play right here. He's fortunate to just get one on this play. And he rushes that thing over there to get his man at first. Jason Worth. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. From the stretch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Has a look, now the pitch. And this is popped high in the air toward the left side. And Franco will make the catch to retire the side. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Seventh inning. Michael Frankel. On ball and no strikes. Frankel is 0 for 2. Ball on strikes. At least a 2 nothing lead. Brandon Jordan knocked in both runs here in the third inning. I've only accounted for the Phillies offense here today. Fits the pitch well. Pitch six innings. Only gave up two runs. Settled down afterwards. And a count is two balls and two strikes. Phillies head to City Field tomorrow. For a day game there. Franco strikes out. And Xavier Paul will be the pinch hitter. He'll 
bat for Buchanan. Balls on one strike. Paul, a 299 hitter. Paul in the center field. That's a base hit. So Xavier Paul's on with one out. Center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Xavier Paul's hitting the ball pretty well here. He's been one of the bright spots off the Phillies bench. There's Ben Revere. It's low, one ball and no strikes. Phillies with seven hits in this, this, in this afternoon's game. But the double play will kill you a lot. Especially if you have one out. A chance to do damage. Ball in one strike. Salvador Perez with two of those seven hits. Dominic Brown. Ben Revere. Also with a hit in Xavier Paul. One ball and two strikes. Wait, still one and two. Oh. Two balls and two strikes. Nice work by the Phillies bullpen, by the way, not giving up any runs in six innings. Gave up a few hits, but that's about it. That's kept the Nationals in check here. Rivera pops it up. Caught by Desmond. Two outs, and I'll bring up Salvador Perez. He is two for two. He singled twice. One ball and no strike. Fouls it. One and one. Sky in the center field. And an arts fan puts it away. Now the retired the Phillies here in the seventh. It's stretch time here in DC. Phillies lead it two to nothing. Your attention, please. Jamar Gomez will be in the pitch. And his fourth game, fifth game actually, Ken Jobs in the bullpen is Anthony Rendon. Leading off for the Nationals, third baseman, Anthony Rendon. One ball and no strikes. Hit foul. Oh. Hopped up. Rough near the Nationals dugout. Puts it away. Here's Wilson Ramos. He's single. One for two today. Billy's bullpen really pitching well. Taking over for Cliff Lee, who left in the second inning. And it looked like the Phillies will be in trouble, but their bullpen has pitched well. It's a foul, one ball and one strike. He 
keep the foul. Ooh, we got him. Bring up Ryan Zimmerman. Nice pitch by Gomez. Got him to chase there. Here's Ryan Zimmerman. One ball with no strikes. Zimmerman is one for two. One and one. hammered in the gap and it's going to bounce in the left center field. Rivera plays it. Zimmerman will end up at second. He has got a stand up double. Nice hit by Zimmerman. He's at second base with two outs here in the seventh. That's the tenth double of the season for Zimmerman. Nationals have something going here. One strike. Nationals get together. These games are always going to be close. That one is fouled. It's one ball and two strikes. Fouls up there, two and two. Ground ball to Utley, fires over the rough, and now to retire the Nationals here in the seventh. Zimmerman with a double, but he did not cross the plate. The Phillies still lead it two to nothing. And a double switch for the Nationals now. Your attention, please. Heath Bell will be the He's new pitcher for the Washington. Nationals. So 20 innings of work this season in 21 games. Number 21, Keith Bell. Now playing shortstop and batting in the ninth spot. Number five. Here's Adrian Beltran. Yunel Escobar. Yunel Escobar will bat in the number ninth spot. Heath Bell is on the mound. Beltran leads off the top of the eighth. One ball and no strikes. Beltray has a hit in this game. Live ball. That ball's hit the deep right field. We're going back. And he'll put it away just off the end of the bat. Adrian Beltray. One down here in the eighth. You see the line score. They'll bring up Brandon Jordan. Jordan is one for three. Knocked in only Phillies two runs. That was back in the third inning. One strike to Jordan. Oh. 
ball and one strike. Housed up there, two and one. Jordan Skies in in the right field is going to hook foul. That's foul. Uh, you're kind of surprised at Jordan's numbers. You would think that he would have a lot of home runs by now, about 10 or 15 of them, but he is really struggling to hit the ball out of the ballpark. Pitchers are not giving basically a lot of Phillies hitters anything to hit over the plate as Jordan gets a base hit in the center field for a second hit of the game. Well, you take what you can get, and Brandon Jordan has himself his second hit of the game. So, Phillies can hit the baseball, but hitting him out the ballpark has really been a struggle. Here's Dominic Brown. He is one for three. the Phillies in home runs. Cool, We're talking about teams not giving the Phillies anything to hit above the middle. Saying if they're going to beat them, they're going to beat them hitting the ball back through the middle, and that's what the Phillies have done in this one. Dominic Brown is ahead now, 2-1. Phillies are three games above 500, so they're not complaining. They just want to get the first place either way they can get it. Aaron Rupp waits on deck. But there will come a time when they will explode. There's a foul behind or into the Phillies dugout. So the count is four to Brown. Rupp waiting on deck. And Brown with a base hit to left field. The Phillies playing a little small ball, a little singles action here in the eighth inning. They got two on and one out. And here's Darren Rupp, and they're going to bring in Tanner Rourke. He will appear in his 10th game, 2.25 BRA, 9 strikeouts, and 3 walks. That one's hit foul. One ball and one strike. In the eighth inning. Two balls and one strike. Chase Utley waits on deck. And that heart of the order, if they can get on base with the base hits, gives them a chance for Utley to drive it to RBI. Rough pops it up. Zimmerman. And in a Nationals dugout, they'll put it away. That's two outs. Here's Chase Utley. He's over three. Utley, Sky, this one in the left field, and caught. Had to retire the Phillies here in the eighth. They got two singles, but they couldn't bring them home. Nationals. That in the bottom of the eighth. The Phillies lead it two to nothing. And Ryan Sandberg now will make a double switch.
Jake Deakman on the mound for the Phillies now. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 63, Jake Deakman. Now playing second base and batting in the ninth spot. Number 17, Freddie Galvez. Freddie Galvez will play second base. Jake Deakman on the mound. Deakman will bat in the seventh spot. Will bat, excuse me, will bat in the ninth spot. Harper is down 0-1. Oh, he had a cut with that one. Come on, man. That is foul. Struck him out. So Harper is down on strikes. One down, Asian now Escobar. A good job by this Phillies bullpen. They have done an excellent job here. Shutting out the Nationals. Jerome Williams coming in pitching well. Buchanan. Gomez up, base hit. Speak too soon, Nationals have a runner on with one out. And it was down a little bit in, but it was off the mound. And the Nationals have benefited from those balls bouncing off the mound here. Here's Denard Span, who was one for three. Band. Sky, this one in the right field. Brandon Jordan. Two outs. Here's Kevin Franzen now. And ball and no strikes. Doing on now. Nationals, they can't really, haven't really gotten any momentum going here. Runner goes, a stolen base. You know, that's the bar. Take a look from the top angle. Nice aerial view there at the stolen base. And that one's foul. Full count now, Jason Worth waiting on deck. Back through the middle, base hit. Escobar rounding third, he'll be waved home. And now with a two to one ball game here in the bottom of the eighth. And he'll bring up Jason Worth. The Phillies bullpen, pitch six innings of scoreless ball. And now they'll bring in Ken Giles. Ken Giles is one and two with a 3.13 ERA. Three walks and 18 strikeouts in 23 innings. They'll bring Danny Espinosa in the pinch run. And Jason Worth will be the batter. One ball and no strikes.
One and one. Pitch, Worth missed it. One ball and two strikes. Phillies trying to hold off the Nationals to just one run here in the eighth. Got him. Brian Giles comes in and strikes out Jason Worth. And the Nationals are retired here in the eighth, but the Nationals get close. It's a two-to-one game as we go to the ninth. This change defensively for Danny the Espinosa will stay at second, at base. second base. Number eight, Danny Espinosa. And Michael Franco will bat here in the ninth. He is over for three. Shortstop. He's looking for his first major league hit. No balls in one strike. Two strikes. That ball's hammered the deep left field, and this ball is going to be the first major league hit for Mikel Franco. He's going to round first and go over to second, and he is out at second base, but they're going to give him a single. Franco hit the ball well. Tried to stretch a single into the double. That ball bounced off the wall in a hurry. But they will give Franco a, his first major league hit and out trying to stretch a single into a double. Here's Freddie Galvis who's batting in a nice spot. One ball and no strikes. Galvis is a 192 hitter. Bounced up there, but foul. Around the plate. A ball with one strike. That Galva sends it to right field. Worth going back. Goodbye. A home run for Freddie Galvis. His second of the season. And the Phillies now lead it three to nothing. Here in the ninth inning. That ball got out in a hurry. Excuse me, three to one. Phillies here in the ninth. The Nationals got to win the bottom of the eighth. And Galvis has to be enjoying that. The Phillies have some breathing room now. Into the second deck. That's Freddie Galvis' second home run. And here's Ben Rivera. Unballing no strikes. If there is one for four today. So finally the Phillies break the home run snide. One and one. There hits this to Franzen. Well. Here's Salvador Perez, he's two for three. And Perez, the third base, and that, oh, the ball dropped by Zimmerman. 
And Perez will be safe and there'll be an arrow on Zimmerman. Third baseman number 29, Adrian oh. Yeah, he just missed it. Wasn't a bad throw. A little low, but he could have made the play on that one. Beltran is one for three. It'll be the E5. Strike on Beltran. Side one ball and two strikes. Must we have a few words? That's two and two. Count now, Jordan waiting on deck. Beltre to try to draw a walk here, I'll get a hit. Walk Up next for Philadelphia, right fielder. Here's Brandon Jordan. Jordan, your attention please. I'll bring Matt Jordan in. Jordan is two for four. He's knocked in two runs. So they'll bring a left-handed hitter in. It. Two on and two outs. And ball in no strikes. That's what happens when errors and walks. Those can cost you games. Two and zero. Oh. National crowd not happy. Three and O oh, and Dominic Brown waiting on that. Thornton can't find the strike zone. Got that over three and one. Ball four. Jordan walks. The bases are loaded for Dominic Brown. Brown is singled twice. He is two for four. Perez at third. Beltre at second. Jordan at first. One ball and no strikes. No way to put Brown here. And on the ground, what a stop. He'll fire over the first. It's safe, it meant Zimmerman will throw it off the bag and the run scores. Rendon had Dominic Brown. But I think it's a throw brought Zimmerman off the bag. The 
Let's see how they score it. I'm not sure. It looked like he was out from there. They, let's see how they score it. Here's Darren Ruff. Bases are still loaded. It's 4-1 Phillies here in the ninth. They get another run. Ever since the Gobbers home run, the Phillies are trying to stick it to the Nationals here. Two here in the ninth. One ball and one strike. Trying to break the game wide open. Did he go? He did. Well, the Phillies get two more runs as insurance. Go to the bottom of the ninth, they lead it four to one. And Ryan Sandberg will make another double switch here. Your attention, please. These changes for Philadelphia. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot. Jonathan Papelbon is the pitcher. He's got 14 Papelbon. saves. Now playing first base and batting in the seventh spot. Ryan Howard. Ryan in the game here in the ninth inning. Leading off for the Nationals. Leading off for the Nationals here in the bottom of the ninth. Third base fight. Anthony Rincon. Nice pitch by Papelbon. One strike. So that Phillies lineup today, they, Sandberg switched the lineup around, belted out 12 hits, and scored four runs. 0-2. Now, Freddy Galvez came off the bench and hit a home run, but it still counts as a hit. So maybe that lineup will be here to stay for a while. We'll see. One ball and two strikes. Papel Bond trying to close this game out. That is hit and foul. Guide in the center field with there in front of the warning track. One out. Applebond is fourth tied for second in the National League in saves. Behind Trevor Rosenthal, who had 17 for the Cardinals. Here's Wilson Ramos. up there one ball and no strikes Let's go. Let's go. Foul. one and one In the center field, Revere, two out. Here's Ryan Zimmerman, last six for the Nationals here. And the Phillies about to take two or three. And the Nationals here in D.C. One strike for Zimmerman. You 
can do it. Here we go. My ball. Right field. Four in. Going back. And he can't get it. He fell down. Zimmerman is going to stand at third with a stand up triple. So the Nationals are still alive. That ball was hit hard, and he almost searching. Here's Jose Labatsi. First triple to him in this year. One strike. Come on, stroke one. One and one to count. Goodbye. Here we go. High ball center field. Rivera right there. He will squeeze it. And the Phillies take two out of three over the Washington Nationals here in Nationals Park. Phillies win it by the score of four to one. Behind the bullpen in the Phillies, Kapli got injured early in the game. Freddy Galvez with a home run in the ninth. 12 hits for the Phillies overall. And they take two or three from the Nationals. And the player of the game will be Freddie Galvis. And Galvis went at bat, one hit, the home run. Help the Phillies win it by the score of four to one. Our uh, next broadcast will be on the video game network against the New York Mets. We'd like you to join us for that and for more baseball action. Log on and subscribe to the UPN WPRN 57 YouTube channel.